Hi everyone, I'm Janet Baker and on behalf of the Monticello Corporation, makers of Paper Tiger and Digital Tiger, we want to thank you for attending today's webinar. We are so excited to have Ann McGurdy with us who will be presenting today. Remember that we are uh, at the beginning stages, um, so we hope to give you a general overview of Digital Tiger and what we are planning to do through Paper Tiger Online. Of course, it is impossible to give every detail in a one-hour seminar uh, webinar, but we will uh, try to give you as much information as possible. Just to let you know, our developers are working hard to release digital tiger to beta testing. We expect beta to start very soon, and we will be sending out an email to all who have signed up for beta as soon as possible. Now, let me tell you a little, about, a little bit about Anne. She is CEO of Strategize and Organize. Anne is a professional speaker, productivity expert, and author. She is nationally recognized as an expert and works with people throughout the U.S., in person and virtually, to customize a system to help make their lives more productive and organized. Anne has graciously offered 30 free minutes over the phone for anyone interested in more professional one-on-one -on -one assistance for an opportunity for you to let her know what your needs are and she can let you know what she can do for you. If you want to learn more about Anne and her services, please visit her website at www.strategizeandorganize.com. You spell and out, strategizeandorganize.com. If you do not already have Paper Tiger, you can purchase from Anne's affiliate link at http colon slash slash app dot thepapertiger dot com slash sign up slash affiliate slash e h o d k and I will try to paste that in the chat section or the question section later. Since we provide these webinars for free, this will help her offset her time. We appreciate your patience and feedback, which is helping us to be as supportive and helpful as possible because it helps us to know what we are not answering in the webinars. Please keep in mind, though, that the webinars will not address every workflow issue. The custom details are what you need Anne's services for. In addition, all attendees for today's webinar will be entered into our Apple iPad contest, which ends midnight, September 30th. Uh, if you have questions during the presentation, there is a question section in the lower right corner of your screen where you can submit questions. Note there is a drop-down box for who you send your questions to, either to all attendees or to the presenters only. We will try our best to answer questions during the call today, but if we run out of time, we will be posting the questions and answers on our blog under the webinar category. This is also where we'll, we will be posting the webinar recording as soon as it is available. And thank you so much for your time and dedication to teaching others about Digital Tiger today and how it will work with Paper Tiger Online. Thank you, Janet. I really appreciate the wonderful, wonderful introduction and also um, the opportunity to be a, a spokesperson for the Paper Tiger and Digital Tiger. To all of you who are out there, I am so excited. There is so much interest in learning about the Digital Tiger. We have had over 100 people on our phone calls the last couple of weeks on our webinars learning about this new product. And I just want to say that I have, having been in business since 2002, if it wasn't for the Paper Tiger product, I don't know if I really could have ever been that helpful in helping people get organized because the methodology of the Paper Tiger is like none other out there. It, it might take a little bit way, it's a different way of thinking, but eventually your whole methodology for getting organized is changed, all as a result of this simple product. All right, so I'm going to get into a little bit about our program here. We have done surveys. Um, of our users and, and readers of our blog and tweet your followers. And what we have found out on our survey is that 71.2% of people have trouble finding and keeping organized both digital and paper. 
there's definitely a problem getting all that information together. 16% uh, say that paper is a problem, but digital is not a big issue. So they're fortunate, but that's only 16% of the people. 10% say that digital is a problem, but paper is not a big issue. All say that those people are definitely using the paper tiger. 2.2% say they do not have trouble with either, either digital or paper. If those people are on the call, call me because I would love to have you working with me to help people implement their productivity issues. Well, I, I got a question from someone that they're saying they're, you're, they're, you're having trouble just getting started and you want to learn more. So for those of you who are out there just getting started um, and learning about document management systems and the functionality of a digital tiger, this presentation and just the concept overall may seem a bit overwhelming. So my words of experience are to keep it simple, to just relax and think about what might be out there. Try not to overcomplicate the system. Many times working with people on Paper Tiger, I find that they got too, um, too micro-organized and it, it overwhelmed them. Let's just keep it simple and start from the beginning. As I've mentioned earlier, you, in, in times when I, when, when I, as I mentioned with clients, let's start with today's papers and information and, and move forward. What we're going to recommend is that you tackle today's work and then when you have free time, you can go back to historical information to help get that organized. Tackling the whole project at once is hardly recommended unless you have a professional to help you or if you have a staff that understands the process. So again, keep it simple, and if this is a little bit over your head, um, relax, send us your questions, and they will be addressed in future webinars. If I'm not dealing with a technical issue that you have on how to implement the processes or the step-by-step -step procedures, again, please send me an email and we will address those in future webinars. Webinars will be getting more technical as we learn more about how people are wanting to use the Digital Tiger and document management, and as we learn more, as we're still in the beta phase of development. Okay, right now, we have your physical files. And I know it's kind of a blurry little thing, here, but look, a lot of you who are using the Paper Tiger do have your physical files pretty well managed. You've got it indexed within the Paper Tiger system, and you have screenshots similar to this. In a little bit more depth, what people are saying is they, on the left side, I need help connecting my organizing with the method of retrieving information. Where people have failed is they cannot find their paper. Well, with Paper Tiger, you can not only manage your paper, but it, it helps you inventory all of the physical stuff around your office or even your home. For instance, people may inventory their storage closet for, at their office. People at home may inventory what is in their there are security lockbox at the bank. So what we are doing is now we have an enhancement where people are saying, now that I've got the physical information organized, I would like a digital place, I would like to have a place to find the digital items as well. So as it says on the right-hand side, um, digital, I have pieces of information on disks, on backup drives, in emails, and hard drives. People use products such as Evernote, but they still find it difficult to easily access that information. There is a piece of the puzzle that has been missing, and with the application of Digital Tiger, we are able to incorporate both of the organization tools of the Paper Tiger and Digital Tiger to help you retrieve all of your information at one time. As we're introducing Digital Tiger, Digital Tiger is an app. It attaches to Google Docs. Now, what is an app? 
A lot of people have smartphones. Personally, I have a Droid. A lot of people have iPhones. Um, what, smart, what an app does is it is a, an inexpensive product, which the Digital Tiger is going to be an inexpensive product that attaches to a larger ecosystem. And the ecosystem that we're referring to here is Google Docs. You will have the Digital Tiger to be um, an item that you can purchase as an app that will attach to your Google Docs and allow you to work off of the ecosystem of um, Google. Why Google? Um, the Monticello company has been researching and testing for over a year. They have a brilliant staff of engineers that have looked at all the plus and minuses of all the competitors out there. And one of the things that Jim Brady of the Monticello company is really adamant about is offering you the cheapest and most economical way to store information. And Google offers that. And a lot of us who you have been used to using the Paper Tiger are um, just smaller businesses, one to 25 people in an office. And let's face it, everyone in the last couple of years is looking for the most inexpensive solution to store information and to work as a in a collaborative environment where everyone in your office is working smarter and in, in smarter and cost effectively. So the Digital Tiger is an app that you are going to purchase and to be using with a Google Docs application. The Digital Tiger will be coordinated with the Paper Tiger. So both your paper indexing and your digital information that is on Google will be incorporated in the search engine for Digital Tiger. What's this all about? Well, it is a cultural change. Collaboration is what the world is talking about today. We, have, we are a world full of people dealing with um, colleagues, staff members, uh, vendors, customers, clients, all over the country and in the world. I just was on Skype a few minutes ago with someone in India. And how, how easily can you collaborate with people if you don't have the tools to be able to speak to someone easily? I um, sent, shared this PowerPoint slide with Janet this morning just by sharing it through my Google Docs. We didn't have to worry about emailing it. We didn't have to worry about storage. It was all available because it is in one place. And I want to emphasize one place. Do you remember the days when you had two or three calendar systems? You had one at work, maybe one on the at home, and a day planner that you carry around with you. Many times I work with clients, and I have in the past, not so much recently, but I've worked with people where they had several systems for their calendaring. And oftentimes, they would miss an appointment because they forgot to transfer information off the refrigerator at home into their day planner. So they may have missed picking up the kiddos from the soccer game. You don't want to have those problems when it comes to your business information. It certainly didn't work in your personal life, so why would you want to do that in your business? So over the years, as I've been working with clients, you know, they're constantly asking, how do they organize all this information? They're on the go much more than ever before. It's incredibly frustrating because people work independently, and they may have information on their hard drive or on a jump drive. It may have been on an attachment as an email. Or they may have backed it up really a long time ago, and they don't even have that computer anymore. So it's no wonder that people are feeling like they're bombarded and embarrassed because they can't find information. I heard recently that most people have a po the possibility of seven forms of electronic equipment. And what that would mean is they have maybe a smartphone, 
a desktop at home, a desktop at the office, a laptop, possibly an iPad or an equivalent of a netbook, a router, a server, a printer, a scanner. And these are just a few of the things that are actually pretty commonplace to most offices or home office environments. So it's really no wonder that information is getting lost. It's just so hard to remember where you put it. So what are people doing today? People are spending lots of money and time researching different platforms. And what I mean by platforms is where can we store all our information so that everyone can find it quickly and easily. Whether you're a two-person office, a one-person office, or a 50-person office, you want to have a system and a platform where people can collaborate and find that information, share that information, and and use it easily and have it accessible at any time. And also, with people traveling any time, day or night. People wake up at 2 in the morning or up at 5 and they want to access their information. So how do you do that? The answer has been through um, the Paper Tiger and Digital Tiger to use the platform of Google, which will synchronize all of your information. Compare it to your computer now. This is a, a snapshot of my computer. And I am guilty just as much as the next guy. That it's a little messy sometimes. I have, you know, I'm sometimes I'm organized. I put things under documents. And I like to keep it organized and say it's my marketing, it's my book, it's my finances. But, you know, every now and then, you know, there'll be something that's probably still on my desktop that I didn't file into one of my documents files. Very commonplace. But this is my laptop. And again, I have two laptops. I have one at the office and one at my home. And if I am at the office, the hard drive at my office looks completely different. And if um, I am working on my laptop at the office or I have an assistant working on there, chances are I'm not going to be able to find that if I don't have a collaborative environment where we're sharing that information. So hopefully you're organized in your computer right now if it's only one. But once you extend to another one, it gets a little bit more difficult. And again, not everybody's going to remember to send files back and forth to each other will always have that jump drive with them when they have an important meeting and need to store a special file. So what you need to do with going to the digital tiger and being able to find electronic information as well as your pen and paper information is you need to migrate to a document management system. And what does that look like? A lot of people are hearing the word document management. Well, document management is an area where you can store all of your electronic information so that people can store it and collaborate. And what, I'm gonna, what you need to do to set up a Google's account to work with Digital Tiger is you have to have at least a Gmail account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about you know, what it looks like to get to a Gmail account. And I'm going to talk about a few things here which may go over a few people's head, but um, hopefully I'm going to go through the basics well enough that you understand what needs to be done. Step one is setting up a, a, a Gmail account. So we're going to go into this Gmail account. Oh, dang it. Ah, don't we love it when this happens? Okay. So when you go to set up a Gmail account, if you don't have a Gmail account, I recommend that you, you set up one. If you um, 
if you have like an AOL account or a Yahoo account, um, you are going to need a Gmail account to get the Digital Tiger working to get a, a Google Alert account. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I am going to okay, you're using your Gmail account here. I'm going to sign out of that. I have my junk mail account there. So what we're going to do is this is what the general screen looks like to open up a Google email account. Right here, if you do not have an account, you create an account right here. And what I have available is I set up one for Monticello at gmail.com. Excuse me. And putting your password once you sign up your account. And you sign in. So here's a pretty generic looking brand new Gmail account. So when, what happens is when you sign up for a Gmail account, you have a brand new template for your organization to start incorporating <coughs> your documents. Oh, I beg your pardon. What happened there? Tiger, uh, okay, hang on. I'm really comfortable telling people how to work with this product, but when the technology goofs like that, <laughs> I start to sweat. So thanks for your patience when we have these little technical snaps. All right, so here we go with the, the brand new template for your organization. Now within Gmail, a lot of you who are using Gmail right now may be very familiar with this part of the functionality. You have a general area for your Gmail. Some of you may be familiar with the calendar. And what it does is it has a basic calendar that you can synchronize with your Microsoft Outlook. And I have done that with my personal um, business Gmail account. And then where we're going to get involved with the Google Docs is right, excuse me, is right here, dang it, is right here where it says documents. And when you go into Google, your Gmail account, and go into documents, what it does is it gives you this screen here to be able to interface with what is on your hard drive. Now, if I were to drop down here to upload, you can upload files, and you can um, you have some pretty good free files available through Google. And when I mentioned earlier that it's the most inexpensive storage system, I'm going to tell you that some companies charge 40, 60, even hundreds of dollars for storage of your files. With Google, considering how incredibly huge it is, you can add storage to hold all of your business and personal files for, for very little. Like a, a, a tetrabyte is, um, I think it's $286. Um, that's a ton of storage. And it's, um, well, I'll go into some more information on that later. But the interaction here of Google Docs is that you can upload files from your hard drive. And what I'm going to do is go into my hard drive. And I took a class last year. And I would like to have all of this information from that class available in my Google Docs. So I'm going to take maybe the business plan, um, this area here, and the evaluation form. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload those forms into my Google Docs. Now, I'm, I'm currently, I am researching ways to do a, a more global transfer 
of your hard drive files into Google Docs so that it is not necessarily a onesie, one file at a time um, migration process. But I also want to let people know that sometimes it's even if people are really disorganized on the hard drive, it might just be easier to start with today's information and move from there. And when you have today's information and go forward, you can start being organized with Google Docs. Okay, another thing I want to point out is that you can scan information directly into Google Docs. A lot of people um, have scanners, and I recommend that you check with your manufacturer to see how you can configure your scanner to upload today's information going forward into Google Docs if what you have is in paper form. It has been my recommendation, and Monticello's as well, to use the Fujitsu Scan Snap. I have personally been using the Fujitsu um, Scan Snap for about three or four years, and I have found none better uh, with working with my clients. But again, if you have something, see if you can get it configured to work with um, Google Docs as well. So now you've got a little bit of a feel for what Google Docs looks like. And what we have here is um, the documents that I just uploaded from my hard drive. And if I wanted to find, um, we'll get to the finding feature in just a minute. But there's also something I want to talk about with Google Docs that may be a little difficult and clumsy, cumbersome for people. It's sort of like, okay, let's look at this evaluation. Let's look at this evaluation form. Okay, this evaluation form is I can upload it on my Google Docs. And once it is uploaded, it is, okay, this one happens to be, um, it is a, it is in a doc form, and not one of my better examples. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to go into just a regular Word document, and what I'm going to do is, ding, ding, ding. sorry, I'm not having anything right there. Okay, we're going to um, go into Microsoft Office. And in Word documents, and I'm going to create a new document. So, hello participants of Paper Tiger webinar. Paper and digital Tiger webinar. Now, there is a an app within Google called Google Cloud Connect. And if you have that downloaded on your hard drive with your Microsoft products, it will automatically synchronize with your Google Docs account. Why is that so awesome? It's because you do not have to re-upload everything that is in your Microsoft Office suite as you're updating them and creating new documents into Google Docs. So I would synchronize this. Um, but I want you to know that as I just did that, though, it is synchronized to my personal account and not my demo account. So if you were to go into my personal account, you would have seen this document been uploaded. In the future, I will have a better example of that. But I'm so excited about that Dawn Cloud Connect that I wanted to just see how that worked. Okay, so back to my presentation. Oops, excuse me. All right, so now that you've, you've got a little familiarity with what Gmail looked like and Google Docs, I think it's critical that people understand that Digital Tiger is an app where it is, at, it is absolutely required that you use Google Docs to have the system be a successful implementation. 
As I mentioned before, Google Docs um, will have be best served if you're starting with a clean slate. I want you to stop and think about your current business file architecture. Where I had my hard drive a little messy, I think it's important that people think about, you know, how do you organize your files? Do you have executive files, sales files, marketing files? In Microsoft, those are referred to as folders. In, in Google Docs, they're referred to as collections. And it will be helpful for you to organize your collections when you go to search for things later. Although, in the big world of Google, you'll find everything. You may type in the word um, sales contracts, and like in a Google search engine, you may get 19 pages of web pages referring to sales contracts. The same thing will happen to your Google Docs and search engine and digital tiger. So thinking about your file architecture will help you a little bit later down the line. So first things first. All right. So people are saying, some of you who are beginners, you might be thinking, does my business even need a document management system? Well, I'm going to ask you, can your employees easily locate the information they need when they need it? Are you being virtual? Are people wasting time remaking information? If you're on this call, chances are you might be having a difficulty looking for information. And today's solution is having an efficient document management system. And again, I ask you, do you have documents stored in a variety of places? Are they on networks? Are they on individual PC hard drives? Do you still carry things around on zip drives, jump drives, and CDs? Or are they in physical file cabinets and in dust drawers? How do you incorporate all of this? I, using a case example, um, a lot of speakers, I, I happen to be a, a professional speaker, and oftentimes in the early days, I would people say, oh, you don't need your laptop. You know, we've got a laptop here. Just bring you know, your, your jump drive. And what a panic if you don't have your jump drive or if somehow you lost that little thing. And without having virtual access to it, you're kind of you're ad-libbing an entire speech. So having a document uh, management system that is virtual in the cloud will alleviate any of those problems. And the interaction between paper tiger and digital tiger will help you find physical papers when you need them because you can find them using the online application. And again, can people in different locations access these documents? How do you direct people? A big question that keeps coming up is backup. In the, in the days of using just the paper tiger, people were frequently frustrated about how to access the information if their computer was to crash, or they got a new computer, or they just wanted to back it up. Well, there's a couple of things I want to address here, is that with Google Docs, things are getting backed up. And that's, everything is in the cloud being backed up. But if you're using the system like Google Cloud Connect, you're still maintaining an awful lot of information on your hard drive. Personally, I use Mosey. Mosey.com backs up all of my pictures, my emails, my documents, um, and any, any kind of Win file that I zip in the back, and it, it does it for like $50, maybe $60 a year. I think it is probably one of the most inexpensive solutions. Now that's for the, your hard drive backup. For those of you who are using an older version of the Paper Tiger desktop, I recommend that you export the databases regularly to an Excel file. And since you'll be using Mosey, that Excel file will be accessible. Now more currently, though, there's the latest build in Paper Tiger desktop, 
um, you can auto backup to a user choice of an external hard drive. So if you do still have the Paper Tiger desktop, go online to the Paper Tiger support and download the most um, current, the most current um, upgrade to that system. Backup is critical today, and I do recommend that people consider their backup resources and work with stable and secure companies. Google Docs. You know, just a little bit, uh, again, about Google Docs and understanding why the, um, the Monticello company has chosen to work with Google. Does anybody not know Google? Maybe three years ago, people were like, hmm, what's Google? And it really has become much more commonplace. The power and methodology of Google Docs and Digital Tiger creates a tool that will help you find any of your files, physical or electronic, within your own business infrastructure in seconds. The ease that you have had finding information through ePaper Tiger will be just as slick as it, as it was with Paper Tiger with the Digital Tiger. The key will be migrating your information over to Google. Now, I encourage you to look, at, open up your Gmail account and start playing with it. Get to know the, 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 the breadth of how much is available in the ecosystem. There's many tools available under Google. You can learn the tools of synchronizing your calendars, the tools of organizing your shared documents and collaborating, the awesome app of Cloud Connect so that you don't have to give up your Microsoft, um, your Microsoft applications for those more difficult and um, cumbersome Excel spreadsheets and Word documents. Google Docs is not quite there yet when it comes to creating brand new um, complex documents. So I recommend that you still use the Microsoft applications and the Cloud Connect for that. And I don't want to forget the apps. For people who are using the Mac, a lot of people I work with also have, um, are using the Mac and Apple systems. And you can use Google Docs with that as well. Again, just uploading your systems. I'm not on top of the Mac as far as the Cloud Connect. I will know more about that later to find out if there is a quick synchronization with Apple and Google, similar to that available through Cloud Connect. As I said, we're still learning, so thanks for your patience and keep me, keep me know, let me know your questions as we go along. So what I want to do here is I want to show you, once you've set up your Gmail account and you have Google Apps excuse me, you have um, the Google Docs set up, how do you go forward with Paper Tiger Online? Hang on. Hey, Ann, don't forget the F11. I know, I'm trying it. Okay. For some darn reason, it's not doing um, My F11 is not working. Let's try that again. On it. Um, Okay, sorry folks, technical here. Nick, if you're on the line, is there anything you can do to help me with that? Okay, um, technical help, is there anything we can do there, maybe show your, no. Ann, 
And they're telling me try F12. Okay. Whoops. No, that ain't it. That didn't do it. It worked a few minutes ago. Can I go forward without it? Hold on just a minute, Ann. Okay, thanks folks for being patient. And can you close out the other tab? I'm doing that. Sorry, it's, it's not connecting it. And press, you see page? Page? Uh-huh, right, uh, right above my info. Yes. Yes. Um, no. Okay, never mind. Go forward, please. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Okay, what I want you to see here is this is what your Paper Tiger Online should look like now. So what you have is a screenshot here, and this is my personal strategized and organized files. And what you're going to, you just see it here, what's different with the new program is that you have in your search engine optimization, paper search as well as digital search. There is an area here where you, if you click on hide advanced search or open advanced search, you're going to see a little bit more information here. Now, I'm going to use the sample of the word paper, because I know I've got paper in a lot of my files. So we're going to use the search word of paper. Go ahead and hit search. Now, with the digital tiger now incorporated in my system, the first thing that's going to come up, and it's a little blonde, um, where you see the word 13 digital files found in Google Docs. What this did now is it pulled everything that was in my business ecosystem under Google Docs where I have the word paper. Now, as you can see, I have a document in here that's just called Let's Have a Sale. And what that is, is it's a newsletter that I wrote that is um, a document. You can see it's a Microsoft 2007 document that has the word um, paper in it. So the digital tiger dug deeper than just the title of that document. Now here, for instance, up here is digital tiger. And what I have here, as you recognize this acrobat symbol, is this is a PDF file that was uploaded into my Google Docs and has the word paper in it. Now I want to I want to talk about how the Digital Tiger um, finds information. Um, a lot of you may be familiar with the word OCR, Optical Character Recognition, and that means that when you are scanning a document into a system, they, it is automatically reads every uh, typewritten word, printed word within that document. And the digital tiger digs deep into all of those documents that are OCR. Google automatically OCRs the first 10 pages of every document that is uploaded into the system. So you don't have to worry about any special coding or anything when you're scanning information. Unless, of course, it's over 
um, 10 page list and then you have other issues. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Now let's dig a little further and the paper Digital Tiger went into my action files that I currently have and in my action files I have past taxes, I have tax papers, so it found again the word paper. When you go a little further, it also now refers to my, my reference files. I have a file for Paper Tiger, and in my CD case, I've got CDs that have the word paper in it. So now what you have is as a result of having all of your electronic files migrated over to a Google's account, you can now find it within your Paper Tiger and Digital Tiger. All right, so let's go back to my presentation. I show you that is a quick overview, but I hope you can see how darn exciting it is that you can see all of your information that quickly and easily, just like you did with the Paper Tiger. And as I said, in Microsoft um, fans, it's really no problem where you don't have to give up the platform of using Microsoft. By using the Google Cloud Connect, you can still work with your PC and automatically synchronize it to your Google account. You can continue to work anywhere, even on a plane when you have no Wi-Fi access on your laptop. And then when you do have Wi-Fi accessibility, it'll immediately synchronize with your Google Docs account. Yeah, so why are people wanting a, a product like this? People that I've worked with uh, so much in the last few years say uh, the physical files and electronic files, they wish there was a system to coordinate all of it together. And honestly, in the last couple of years, people really have not been spending as much time and money organizing their physical paper files because they're so overwhelmed with the electronic. So I believe with this new finding system of the digital tiger that people will get re-energized for getting their organi organized within their office because there is a solution to get it all together. Again, it is one of the least expensive storage systems available online. You can be confident that you are using a safe and stable company, not only um, Google Docs, the Google company, but the Monticello is a proven company of being a safe and stable company that ha has a great reputation of using the paper tiger. They have spent much time and money researching and developing a company to answer all of your questions and needs. So I tell you, that is a reputable company. You probably already have all the hardware you need, as I said, a computer and a scanner. You'll have support for all your Google apps. You'll be able to work easy, excuse me, you'll be able to work easily by sharing your business information with others. For instance, this morning when I shared my PowerPoint with Janet, she had it in seconds. And you can start enjoying your life and know you can work anywhere at any time and have your information available. Now cost is a huge factor. Um, are you paying too much for storage? I see people spending $40, $60, a $100 a month. I see people experimenting with all these different document management companies. They're completely overwhelmed. Money is coming out of their credit cards, and they don't even know where it's going. They're constantly worrying about the security. Sending files back and forth, not knowing who has the most recent version. That's a really obvious problem with a lot of my clients. I was working with a physical therapy office, and the receptionist was still giving new patients uh, an intake form that was from three months ago. And in the ever-changing industry of healthcare, it is critical where there's major fines that are implemented on companies that are not using current information. So without using an a awesome collaboration system that has version control, it could be very costly. And people are still wasting time 
looking for documents or recreating it? And how many times have you postponed an important meeting or have been embarrassed at a business meeting because you didn't have the information you need and you couldn't collaborate with your client or colleague because you weren't fully prepared or a new issue came up and darn it, it was back at the office or on your computer. With Google Docs in collaboration with Ty Digital Tiger, you can have an information immediately accessible. The security, I'm going back to Paper Tiger Online. We're, we're so much emphasizing the security of Digital Tiger with Google Docs. It is it is an, almost an obvious statement that Google Docs is a secured environment. Paper Tiger also has a security and backup capability as there is a click box within your setup of your um, Paper Tiger system, which is hosted by Amazon Web Services, which will give you, through Amazon, a higher secured environment to, to really protect you from any possible um, fraudulent access. So with Digital Tiger, what you're having now is really a freedom of mobility in the workplace. You can start working with your iPhone, your iPad, your smartphones. You can work anywhere. I have this little, this little balance here. You know, do you want to do what you love or do you want to be making money? Well, in today's digital world and paper world, we find that you can have them both when you're using the right tools to keep yourself and your organization organized. A little bit about cost. The um, Digital Tiger um, and Paper Tiger, could you give me a little bit on that, um, Janet? What are the costs going to be on that before I go into the storage? The cost on Digital Tiger? Yes, it's cost on Digital Tiger. Uh, currently, our management team plans to have it as an add-on to uh, Paper Tiger Online. So with a paid Paper Tiger Online account, you will get Digital Tiger. So that is a starter account for someone is how much we're, um, uh, how much we're looking at. Yeah, the basic plan is um, you know, it's a limited plan, but it is at $5 per month or $50 per year. Uh, the pro plan, which is a single user unlimited plan, is um, at $9 per month or $90 per year. And then we go into the multi-user plans. Uh, the business plan is at uh, up to 10 users. Uh, uh, would have uh, You would have 10 different logins for 10 users, and that would be at... Um, Nineteen dollars per month or one ninety per year, and then it goes up from there. <clears throat> the elite plan is from eleven to thirty users, and the unlimited plan is from uh, thirty one up to unlimited. Okay, so as you can see, thank you very much, Janet. Mm -hmm. the, the actual cost of using the search engine tool of the Digital Tiger with Paper Tiger is very, very minimal. It's a very small investment for the absolute ease and peace of mind of finding your information. So the big question everyone has is, but how much information can it store? Well, I, we used here, the Monticello company put together this, this um, spreadsheet of what it costs to store information. And this is where I've seen many of my clients spend tons of money. Google Online Storage is $5 a year for 20 gigabytes of electronic digital information. Competitors are charging up to $95 a month. I ask you, why would you consider using any other document management system when it's this inexpensive? And also, with Google Online Storage, it doesn't necessarily have to be per person using this storage. You can collaborate all the people within your office to use one Google Online account here to use up how many gigabyte or terabyte that you need. So as you can see, it is the most cost effective compared to another that charges 
94 times as much as Google. Well, well I want to say now that there's probably lots of questions that have come up, and I want you to ask them now, but I also want to recommend that if you want to be part of the Digital Tiger beta testing that's coming hopefully this week, sign up with the paper Tiger link right here to contest, and you will also be enrolled in the, the, game, the um, drawing for an iPad. I wish I could be part of that. I want an iPad. So also, if you want to get Paper Tiger online, if you're still using the online version, um, when you get this, you can refer to my link here. And as Janet said, I don't get paid for this time. So if you could just collect to my um, affiliate link, um, that would be really nice. But also, um, I would like to, I'm offering a four-week coaching program to all participants. And it's for $297. I am giving you four um, weeks of one hour a week coaching on getting organized in your business environment. Now, it's not just limited to your Paper Tiger and Digital Tiger or converting to a Google Docs. I will help you with whatever it is that you need to do to help yourself get organized. I normally charge $1,500 for a minimum of three months for this program. But I am so excited about what I can offer my clients and really give them a gift of getting organized that I'm, I'm offering this special price. Several of you on the call, I see who are um, on the list right now, have already enrolled and I'm really excited to start working with them. So if you're interested, please let me know. I would love to help. Janet, would you like to, we've got five minutes left. Are there any um, questions that have come up that you feel that are critical for, for us to address? I also want to just point out this time, but unanswered questions will be, um, will be posted and addressed individually as much as possible, but also in my next presentation webinar, probably in two weeks, um, I will incorporate additional, more comprehensive answers to your questions. Thank you all, and back to you now, Janet. Okay, so did you want to take time to answer a few questions? Sure, sure. what do we got? Okay, there's one here about the uh, Cloud Connect that you were talking about, and it wants, uh -huh. wants to know, does the, the Cloud Connect work with Mac, too? Um, as I mentioned, I'm not sure yet on the Mac. Okay. Um, I need to investigate that. If you have the Microsoft application, um, on your Mac, it should work. And I'm just saying should, but if you are using the Mac Microsoft applications on your app on your Mac, I don't see any reason why it would not work. Yeah. Um, another question is, I understand how the Google Docs can sync with Microsoft Office off of your computer, but what if your company uses a main server to store information so that anyone in the office can access the files? Um, same thing. Um, from because I'm on an office environment where we have a server and Cloud Connect goes to my individual hard drive on my, my desktop and whatever, whatever computer you install it on is a computer that it will synchronize to the Google Docs account. Okay. Um, we just have a couple of more minutes, so I think I'll close out and all of the rest of the questions that are being asked, we will be sure and get those posted. Uh, to our blog as soon as possible within the next day or two. The, the recording will be posted as soon as it is available um, from our tech department to be uh, posted in the, in the uh, blog post, in that same blog post as the questions and answers. We will go ahead and get the, the Q&As up there. Um, I have already pasted Ann's contact information in the chat section, but I'm going to go ahead and send that to the entire audience again so that you can get be sure and get her information if you want it. Um, and great job. We appreciate your time and the helpful tips today. Uh, we've had some great feedback from uh, attendees telling us how much your webinars have helped and we appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it as well. Yeah. Um, uh, I, we want to thank you again everyone for attending today's webinar. Again, we do plan to post the recording on our website so you can refer back to it whenever you need to. Please feel free to give us your feedback by emailing us at sales 
That's S-A-L-E-S -E at thepapertiger.com. Um, Anne, did you want to add anything else? Um, I'm good, Janet, and thank you all. Uh, again, I appreciate all of your support and any of your recommendations or concerns and product information ideas, let us know. We welcome it. Mm -hmm. Again, don't forget to uh, see your chat section there for Anne's contact information, and I'll be posting that on the uh, blog post as well. I've also posted her affiliate link there, so if you don't have Paper Tiger already, go ahead and uh, click that link so you can get to uh, get it through her. Uh, okay, everyone, thanks again for attending. We appreciate your, uh, your attendance. Have a great day. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye, Anne.